Hi, this is Darius Barzande, and in this video, I want to share the three most common misconceptions about Ascension. So if you're ready, then let's get started. Hi, it's Darius Farzande. Thanks for opening up and watching this video. We're going to be talking about the three biggest misconceptions that I see regarding Ascension in the more than 3 million plus people that I've interacted with over the last eight to nine years at you Wealth Revolution. If you enjoy this video, please click like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of the new videos coming out as so much energy and so many things are changing so quickly. Well, the first big misconception about ascension and moving into a higher plane of energy frequency is this idea that you have to be positive all the time. Yes, it was probably promulgated by the movie The Secret and a lot of that energy about the law of attraction and it is true that your thoughts actually do tend to create your reality, but also your unresolved thoughts and unresolved emotions probably create more of your reality than your conscious thoughts, meaning that the stuff that you have that you haven't worked on, that you haven't healed, that's below the surface in the subconscious mind is probably guiding 98% of your life. So if we're constantly positive all the time, how are we going to work on the shadow? How are we going to work on those lower parts that need work, those vibrational areas of our life that need healing? So you have to address the shadow and that's really what ascension is all about. It's calling all of us to heal and resolve those energies that no longer serve us, that are no longer part of where we're going, and that's what Ascension is bringing forward. So we absolutely cannot be positive all the time, because if we were, we'd be suppressing some of the sadness, some of the trauma, some of the things that we've been experiencing in many, many lifetimes that we're here now to resolve and move our energy higher in this Ascension. Now the second feeling kind of goes along with this, the second big mistake or misconception is that we can't feel emotional or feel bad. And the truth is, in this ascension, you are going to have times that you feel bad, that you feel energy coming up and you wonder, am I going to make it through this? Am I really going to ever feel good again? Because you are processing, you are moving forward, you are moving through a lot of this energy. So feeling good or bad is not part of, ex of whether or not you're getting it or whether or not you're ascending. A lot of people have this belief that, okay, I've got to feel positive or happy all the time. And if I do so, then I'm actually ascending. And if I start to feel bad, then I'm off track. Well, feeling some of that heavier energy is also about becoming more intuitive to what's going on in your body, to what's going on within you, and also what's going on around you as we are clearing a lot of the collective energy for humanity. Those of us who are watching this video are light workers. There's no accident you found it, so you're working on that energy as well. So you don't have to feel good or bad all the time. You just have to be present to where you're at and then work through in love and light and healing whatever you're feeling so that you now feel lighter after feeling bad and then move forward. So if you constantly are feeling bad and you don't feel a shift, you don't feel the energy move, then you wanna tune into these videos or some of our live daily healing calls to move through that energy where we have live healers, teachers, and masters to help you. And you'll be able to access that in the first link in this description below and you'll get a free gift. Okay, the third one that is a big misconception about Ascension is that you'll have all this knowledge all at once. You know, that you're gonna get to some sort of magical place where everything happens, you awaken, and then there's no more questions, there's no more struggle, there's nothing left, right? That this is somehow gonna magically change everything. And while an awakening can create some big shifts, it can create you a, a rapid transformational movement into your life purpose, it is not gonna just absolutely magically resolve every single issue you have for the rest of your life. You actually are gonna get called to do other things that may involve additional issues, additional challenges, additional things that you have to resolve and additional ways to move forward. I had an awakening experience all the way back in 2007, I believe it was, and very soon thereafter, I ended up divorced, <laughs> losing half my business, breaking my arm really badly, almost dying in a motorcycle accident, all because the life that I actually was living at the time was not aligned at all with who I truly was. It was built on a lot of the shadows and a lot of the blockages. So just having an awakening is not going to shift everything. It's gonna actually open you up to more of what you truly are, and in that you may find some things fall away, you have to do some healing, 
you have to grow, you have to expand, you have to let go of some things. But at the end of the day, your life purpose, your life mission is going to become clearer and clearer in its view and you will be deeply more happy, deeply more satisfied. You won't have that longing feeling and that nagging painful feeling like you're completely off track and off balance. And that actually is what true happiness is all about. Happiness is not meaning that, okay, I don't have any problems so now I'm happy because I've got the idea of sitting on a beach somewhere because what'll happen is you'll, you'll get bored, you know, you'll get complacent. You'll start to feel like I'm not contributing, I'm not doing, I'm not evolving, I'm not growing. You know, growth comes from moving through challenges. So you will have challenges even after you awaken and you won't have all the knowledge all at once either. You know, I've had that experience in the seventh, eighth astral dimension, but I feel like I don't even have the top of a pin in terms of all the knowledge and wisdom out there as to what really we are and what's really going on. And that's a good thing because it keeps me evolving and growing. And the last uh, misconception, I know it was going to be three, but I want to give you another bonus. I'll probably do 10 because I think there's a lot um, we could keep going. But the next one is that you're alone. A lot of people feel like because this process can become so internalized and so personal to what they're going through, they feel like they're alone. But in truth, you are being helped, you are being guided, and you are being watched by many benevolent beings who are seeing this ascension all the way through on our planet. What is really happening is that energies from the central galactic core are illuminating our earth. They are also raising some of the frequencies coming in from the sun and from deep space. And in this journey, we are being called to actually lift out of that shadow energy, a lot of that darker energy of the patriarchy, a lot of that darker grid energy from different um, types of control mechanisms on the planet. And this is not something that you are alone in. There are people all over the world feeling this and you have guides, masters, and helpers all around you. And if you are feeling alone, if you watch this video, the only thing you need to do is just close your eyes and ask for help. Ask Archangel Michael to come in and clear away with his blue sword anything that is holding you back, anything that feels like is keeping you from that joy and that bliss. You can also ask your guides to show you what the next step is in meditation or what do you have to do next to heal this unresolved issue or just being in a space of love and light and feeling love in your heart, you can just ask for divine protection. You can do all of these things and we have put together a really special MP3 gift that actually walks you through a very quick process. In less than 57 seconds, I believe we've doubled the power of the human energy field and really move people into a whole new space and it is the first link down below. But we also do this every day on our live calls, Monday through Thursday. We've got an incredible session today that we're going to be doing in about an hour where you're going to get a live process to move this energy in your field and really get more and more higher up wisdom on this ascension path. So you're not alone. There are communities like ours everywhere. If you feel called or you enjoy what we've been teaching, hit like and subscribe. And I look forward to the next video to help you move into a better space and know that you are loved, worthy, and you're certainly not alone. Much love. Thanks for watching this video. Take care.